Hello friends, welcome back. This is the continuation of the previous video for satellite communication. In this video, we are going to discuss about link design. This is a very important topic for the ISRO exam point of view. There is a very good chance that question from this topic will ask this year also. So let's start. Design of any satellite system depends on the various factors like weight of satellite, DC power generated on the board, frequency band allocation and multiple access techniques like CDMA, TDMA and FDMA. Let us consider a transmitting source is radiating a total power of PT watts uniformly in all the directions and it have antenna gain of GT. Then the product of PT and GT is called as effective isotropic radiated power and in short EIRP. Now if there is a receiving antenna at a distance of R meters from the transmitting source then according to Frisch transmission equation received power PR will be equal to PT GT into GR divided by 4 pi R divided by lambda whole square. This equation is also called link equation. Here the denominator term that is 4 pi R divided by lambda whole square denotes the free space loss. So this formula can be shown as the product of EIRP and gain of receiving antenna divided by free space loss. When we convert it in decibel unit then we will just apply log on both the sides and multiply it with 10. So all the product terms will change to addition terms and all the division terms will change to subtraction term. So in decibel unit we can write received power PR equal to EIRP plus GR minus LB decibel watt. This equation is for the ideal case. If we consider all the loss encountered in the system then the received power PR can be given like this formula. Here LA is attenuation or atmospheric loss, LTA is losses associated with transmitting antenna, LRA is losses associated with receiving antenna and LAD is any additional loss. Here all the losses must be in decibel unit. Now let's see what is link budget and what are the parameters that affect the budget. The various gains and losses of a system is calculated and added together. This result is commonly known as link budget. A general form of link equation is power received equal to power transmitted plus gains minus losses. All the terms here must be taken in decibel unit. For a link budget calculation always decibels are used which is a logarithmic measurement. So adding decibels is equivalent to multiplying the actual numerical ratios. There are two types of budget. The first one is uplink budget and the second one is downlink budget. The uplink power budget includes all the properties which are encountered during wave transmission from earth station to space station. It includes earth station transmitter power, earth station antenna gain, satellite antenna gain, free space path loss and receiver losses. In the similar manner the downlink power budget includes all the parameters which are encountered during wave transmission from a space station to earth station. It includes equivalent noise temperature and receiver bandwidth. These link budgets are generally expressed in terms of carrier to noise ratio in decibel that is 10 log C divided by N and the base of log is 10. There is a very important formula to calculate the equivalent carrier to noise ratio and that is 1 divided by CNR equal to 1 divided by CNR uplink plus 1 by CNR downlink. This is a very important formula in satellite communication. You must remember this formula. The value of CNR in above equation is not taken in decibel. All of them are normal ratios. Now here is a question asked in ISRO 2014 exams. The question is that a satellite communication link has both uplink and downlink carrier to noise ratio equal to 50 dBhz. 
and they have asked what would be the overall link carrier to noise ratio value so to solve the question at first convert this 50 db in normal ratio so here it becomes 10 log c by n equal to 50 that will give log c by n equal to 5 so c divided by n will become 10 to the power 5 now use the ever formula to calculate the overall link budget here we will get carrier to noise ratio will be 5 into 10 to the power 4 now convert this again to decibel to check the answers available so it will become 10 log 50,000 decibel that will be equal to 46.98 db so here option b is the right answer that's all for this video please hit the like button to support this channel and do subscribe for more videos like this thanks for watching